What's up, guys? My name is Kenny. Hope you're all feeling good today. It is Saturday, February 17th, and in this video, I'm gonna play three games back to back, beginning with Wordle, then moving on to Connections, and then playing the mini crossword. So let's go ahead and get started with Wordle. Today, the word that I've chosen to start with is the word usual. I did use a randomizer to get this, and it does include two of the same letter with the letter U, so that's not ideal, but we'll go ahead and uh, try it out anyway, see what it gets me. Let's see, what does usual get me? Actually, that's pretty good. Getting an S in that second position is nice. But then we also have the L and the A here. So how is this going to go with an S in that second position? It might start with a vowel since we have an A, A, S, hmm. Not sure. This is actually interesting. How is this going to work with a... ASL doesn't seem to be um, the beginning of any word. But then the L would have to go forth. Um... A S. I feel like I'm so close. This could be a, a this could be a two guesser today. We could get this one in two, which would be very nice. Um, something L Y. Um. don't think that looks right. So... Something like this? Um, there could be two A's, I suppose. Hmm. Okay. It could be a different vowel at the beginning. So it could be ISA. Could it be um, S here. Could end in SA? Or, excuse me, could end in LA. Um, hmm. Wow, okay, so I'm definitely taking a lot of time on this one, guys. I apologize for that, for going very slow, not making a lot of progress here. I'm trying to look at different possibilities with the information I have. Um, trying to put... I feel like it has to start with a vowel, right? Let me let me just get that down first, because... Uh, P.S. Um... Yeah, it has to start with a vowel. We have an A. I already looked at these, and it doesn't seem right. I'm, I might be missing something here. Um, but if that's not the case, then... Well, we know the, the L's not going to go first. So we know the L has two locations. So we could just look at this, and then the A would have to go last in this situation. So... Um, So if the L goes, I mean, it's more likely the L goes fourth in this situation, but I have to look at this. Nothing, I like, this word is not standing out to me. Hopefully it's not too difficult of a word uh, to get. Hmm, I have a real shot of getting this in two, though, and I feel like taking my time on this is okay. Again, I have to apologize to you guys for... <laughs> For not getting this immediately. I want the two, though. I want the two so bad. Um, I might have typed in the right set of letters already. Um, all 
Uh... No, then the L would have to go here. Asp... Asp... <laughs> is this a word? I don't think this is a word. Ashley? <laughs> it's like the name Ashley. Ashley... Would this be... Is this actually a word? Ashley? That, there's no way that's the answer. Um, ooh, this is tough. Um, oh, it could be something like this. Wait. Something ending in E. I didn't even think about that. Why did I not think about that yet? Um. Hmm. No, I don't think that works. Don't think there's anything here. Wow, I am so stuck on this. I'm gonna put in Ashley. I don't think that's a word. That's not a word. Thank you for telling me it's not a word instead of putting it in and having me lose out on a guess. Um, okay. Gosh. Why is this so hard? <laughs> Why is this, like... Could be two S's, I suppose. No. L A. The problem is if it ends in L A, there's probably a vowel here in the middle. I, I don't get this one. I, I really. Like, if I'm playing by the ultra-hard rules, which is you have to obey the yellows and the the greens, and you have to input every letter that you've already inputted, and um, you can't use the gray letters. Like, I feel like... I don't even know if I can come up with a single word that fits here. So I might have to go off of the ultra-hard rules, which are not actually... They're not actually, like, written into the settings here. It's not a real setting in this world, but there are other websites where they have ultra hard as a setting. Um, I like to just play by the, those ultra hard rules just because it um, makes it more difficult and I enjoy the challenge, so it's more fun for me to play like that. Same reason why I use words that are not optimal for my first guess is because I like playing in ways that are more enjoyable and... Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, SLA like this is probably more... No, there's no A there. Asp, asply, asply, asply. Is that a word? Actually, I don't know. Nope. Okay. Glad we got that taken care of. <laughs> uh, hmm. Why is this so difficult for me? It's probably an easy word, too. Um, I feel like I'm wasting your guys' time. Uh, it's already been nine minutes. This is a... Nine minute long wordle. Wow. Um, salt. Psalm. Hold on. Hold on. If this is right, the payoff is in this is going to be so good. It was worth it. If this is all green, yes.
Oh, oh, oh my goodness, guys. There we go. Look at those stats. I got it in two. It was a long solve. It was difficult. It was so hard, but I ended up getting it right. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to add this to the playlist on the channel of all my two guessers. Although there might be one that's not on there. I might have not uploaded one. One of the more recent ones, because like I haven't been uploading Wordle videos every single day. Um, and I do remember playing Wordle once where I got it in two within the past month or something. And I don't know if I actually uploaded that. I might not have. Maybe I did. Maybe it was a part of a video, but um, I don't know. But yeah, okay, 26. This is my 26 two. This one is so tricky. Okay, we have to check out Squirtle for this. We have to, I have to see what other words were possible here, if any. Uh, so let me go ahead and open up uh, that website. So let's go to Squirtle. Oh my gosh, that was so tough. Uh, here we go. I mean, it's pretty easy for me to, to put these ones in. The answer was Psalm. I put in usual. There was only two possible words I could have put in here. And then the other one's just this word, A-S-Y-L-A, which didn't even occur to me as, an, as a possible entry. So what if what a first guess for this word today? <laughs> like, see, this is the this is the thing is people like sometimes will be like, you know, why do you play? Like, I even got a comment like this on a recent video. Like, why do you why not use a word? that you guys think I don't read your comments. I do read your guys' comments. I got a comment recent, recently that was like, why do you not put in like the most optimal word for your starting guess or a word that uses more common letters? It's like, this is why. Because Wordle is a game of luck. Wordle is a game of like, you never know if one of the words that you put in as a guess is going to give you three greens, or if it's going to give you, if it's going to narrow things down, like this word, like most days, this word usual will not be a good guess, but today it narrowed it down to two. So that's just how Wordle is. Um, and it's fun for me to play. The randomness of Wordle is fun. When you break it down into, you got to use certain words because they're more optimal than other words, it just becomes not fun, which is why I see some channels that play Wordle, you know, uh, do a lot of the, um, uh, the the challenges because you know more challenges make it more fun. There, there gets to be a point where you get so good at Wordle that you just sort of like it becomes sort of you know routine and not interesting anymore. And I've certainly reached that point already, but I still play because I know you guys probably want to watch me play. Uh, anyway, there's the first 13 minutes of this video taking me forever. Let's go ahead and move on to connections. Yes, this will probably be a half hour video. But uh, we're going to go ahead and, and do it anyway. All right, guys. So moving on to connections. Let's go ahead and get started here. This will be the connections for, let me just repeat the date for people that are just, uh, just skipping ahead. This is the connections for Saturday, February 17th. All right. Here we go. Family ship lock. Okay, that's funny. We got lock and nest right next to each other. Ion, it's interesting. Lee. Tress, I'm not sure exactly what a tress is. Um, media. Media coverage, publicity, exposure, they kind of sound familiar, or they kind of sound like they go together. Dom? Uh, I'm wondering if this is going to be like the beginning of a word. Okay, I guess coverage, media, publicity, and exposure are the only words on here that kind of fit this. So I'm going to put those in. No, that's not even right. It is one away though. So what am I missing here? I was thinking media wouldn't go with that. Oh, I guess press. Press. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Press. Yeah, okay. Media attention. Um, 
I just noticed you had press and tress and ness, so words that end in ess, but there's not a fourth one. Uh, now what? Okay, I'm not sure what a ringlet is. I mean, I know what a ring is. So I can probably assume what that is, but it might be a more specific object. Curl, we could be talking about an exercise like curl. Don't think so. Ship, I think like relationship, but I don't see how that would work. Family. Okay, are there any other words for like, like if you say a family of like, uh, like in terms of animals, you have like species, then you have like the larger like family that they might fall into. So maybe it's like an umbrella term for like a category. I don't see that at all. I guess bench press might have fit with curl if you would have thought of that, which I didn't think about that. Um, okay. I might, I, I've been doing so poorly on connections recently. Like yesterday's was a complete disaster. I failed. Um, and today I might also struggle. Ship. Maybe ship is like to send. Like you, you ship, uh, like you send a package like through the mail or through uh, UPS or something. Lee, oh my gosh. Um, lock, does lock and ringlet, do those go together? Man, I don't know. What is tress? Okay, I'm trying to think of what tress means. It might be something like curl. Is it like a shape? Because like a curl is like a shape. Tress, is ness a shape? Or is it, maybe ness is a shape. I'm just making stuff up now because I don't know. Uh, I feel a lot of pressure right now. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, there's something about recording these videos that like I feel nervous and um maybe it's because I want to solve these fast I don't want to waste your guys's time with a lot of me just staring at these words so I feel like I gotta know the answers right now and I just don't I feel like one of these categories is going to be, like, half of a word. Like, dom feels like it's not a full word. Like, I know dom is, like, dominant. Um, flying. Or is a ringlet one of those things in the Olympics that you grab onto that's the ring? Is that what the ringlet is? Then maybe you could say a curl is like probably some sort of gymnastic term or something. Wait, isn't there a fleet? Wait, no, hold on. I might be making this up. I feel like I'm only basing this off of past connections. I feel like they had a category. Maybe a flea has nothing to do with that. Hmm. What the heck is a tress? Oh my gosh. I feel like one of these has to do with like gymnastics or like the Olympics or something, but I'm not sure. 
I don't have I I don't have all the the words that might go with that. I, that could be, I could be completely wrong though. Um, this is one of those just days where I'm not feeling confident at all, and I don't see the categories, and I think I'm just going to give up after only getting one. So, I'm just going to, I'm just not going to take forever, I'm not going to take all the time to, to try to figure this one out, and uh, I just can't get it right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and guess Curl, Lock, Lee, and Tress. There is one away. Maybe Tress, maybe Ringlet instead of Tress. How is it still one away? I don't understand. Ness? What the heck is a Ness? I, I don't know. Curl, oh, hair. Curl, lock, ringlet, and Tress. I didn't know Tress or ringlet were hair. Uh, noun suffixes. Okay, yeah, so they weren't completely words oh the ends of words you end okay so i thought about relationship i didn't think about ion being an ending of a word yeah ness that makes a lot of sense and then circus family circus never would have thought of that flea circus nope flying circus media circus no this was just an absolutely impossible one for me today i think i could have gotten the the word one the noun suffixes Ship, Ness, Ion, and Dom. I could have gotten that one, but I didn't. So, yeah, wow, this is just one of those days where I only got one category. So, <laughs> that's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. But anyway, yeah, let me know how you guys did on this one. I'm sure you guys did a lot better than me. Um, I've been just having so much difficulty with these connections recently, and uh, I'm not going to stop playing. I enjoy them, but um, I just... It, there, there is a point where it's like maybe it will become too difficult where it won't be fun anymore. Um, I just I don't know how I'm supposed to get this. Maybe I just need to know what ringlet and tress are. That was the easy category, right? The yellow one's the easy category here, uh, and I just don't know what a ringlet or a tress are at all. So this was impossible for me to get the easy one. <laughs> um, felt like the media one was way more easy. Um, Like, these circus terms, I feel like they're not... I mean, I guess I'm just not aware of these circus terms. I feel like family circus, I don't... Like, what is that supposed to mean other than just, like, a family that runs a circus? Like, I don't know. Flea circus? I don't know what that means. Like, I know what media circus means, but it's not a popular enough phrase for me to ever be able to recall it here while I'm playing this game. Um, I guess flying circus is the one that I'm the most, the most familiar with out of that. That's just, that's just, this is just way too difficult for me. And it's just way above my, yeah, my brain cannot handle these categories. Um, it's a couple days in a row here where I'm, I'm failing completely. Um, yesterday I only got two. All right. Well, um, long video today. Uh, thankfully I had some success with Wordle, but, um, <laughs> uh, maybe the, the crossword will be where I, where I, uh, can get it more swiftly. So let's go ahead and, and, uh, and move on there. Okay. Um, give me a moment, guys, to set up the mini crossword. Okay. Um, here we go. All right. Mini crossword time, Saturday, February 17th. It is Saturday, so this will be a bigger mini crossword. Let's go ahead and begin. Let me try to get through this one faster because it's already a long video. One across, eight foot, two inch character on Sesame Street. Eight foot two, I'm guessing it's, um, what's his name? Uh, the bird, the big, big bird? Is it just big bird? What's his name? Yeah, big bird, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, CAPTCHA for completely automated public Turing test to tell computers and humans apart. Uh, wait. I, I don't know what this is asking me. Uh, 
um is it saying it's like the um the abbreviated form or the um what do you call it abbreviation I i'm not sure what you're asking me for <laughs> um works at a school teacher letter before q Um, um, the letter before, okay, the letter Q, P, right? P, Q, R, let me, do I know my alphabet? <laughs> Please don't let this be the thing that I struggle with today. I'm assuming it's the letter P, so it'll be either P, E, E, or P, E, A, probably P, E, A. Uh, sporty sort, don't know what that means. Relaxing, chilling, <laughs> levied as a tax, charged. We've had levy in the mini crossword a couple times now, so um, uh, chilling might be wrong. P might be the wrong P. Teacher might be wrong, I suppose, but I'm assuming working at a school as a teacher. Uh, one taking night flights. I don't know. Winter driving ha hazard ice. Illustration for a news segment. Graphic. Okay, it's not charged. Um, levied as a tax. Um, the C in the third position. I thought that was right actually, because we've had charged in the past or, um. Mm, I'm not sure. Uh, so I think graphic is right. So teacher is probably right as well as Big Bird. Uh, it's either Andrea or Andrea blank Italian tenor with 90 million al albums sold. Don't know. Nice. Um, wearing dressy shoes. Um, wearing dressy shoes. This is a tough one today. The catcher in the rye. Uh, private Instagram. Inst Private Instagram exchanges. So this is probably teaches instead of teacher. When it said works at a school, I guess it would have said person who works at a school would have been teacher, but simply works at a school just means teaches. The act of, okay, got it. D, not DJs, could be a DJ, but DMs. Um, Acronym, that's the word I was trying to... I couldn't come up with acronym. I was thinking like abbreviation. I was thinking like all the wrong things. Um, I don't know this name of this person. Inhale? What is this? No, in... It is P-E-E. -E. It probably in heels. Um, okay, now, sporty sort. I, could, I might be able to come up with that, but I don't know. Probably can't get the levied one. Perfect tennis serve. A perfect tennis serve. Hmm. Is it ace? I don't know, actually. Um, 16 across, does this help me? I don't want to keep ace in there because I don't know that one. And it could trip me up on one of the other ones. Um, texters much appreciated. THX, which would probably mean this probably is ace. Uh, athlete. Okay. Oh, what is it going to end in? I don't I don't understand. I'm trying to think of a word that's like levied as a tax, a word that means like to charge somebody or to to give them um to make them pay something. But I can't think of... I mean, I have all the letters here. I just, Or most of the letters. I can't come up with it. 
Even score is a tie. You've reached it for the the end. Graphic is graphic right? Excused? Is it ex how does excused? No. Uh ex excused. <laughs> Excised. Excise? Ex I figured an I would make the most sense for the ending of this person's name. I don't know who that is. But Shelly? Um Sized. I gotta, I gotta work on my vocabulary. Uh, I'm so happy I ended up getting this one though. Um, obviously, I put in the wrong letter for the last one. I should have just put in an I. That made the most sense. It made the most sense, but hmm. I never would have got this one. <clears throat> Excised. Wow. Um, how did I not get athlete? That that is troubling. Um Oh, one taking night flights is a bat? Oh my gosh, I never would have got that. Um in heels. Fun one. I mean, I liked it. It was definitely... I like these bigger ones because they're a little bit more challenging than the 5x5 five five ones. Um, I always look forward to the Saturday mini connections more than... Like, sometimes I won't do the connections during the week. Um, but on Saturdays, I always make sure to do them. Yeah, not bad today. THX was interesting. That's nice. Nice way to fit that in there. Um... Yeah, pretty good. All right, guys. So that's going to wrap things up. We have a over 30 minute long video for only three games. What? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, if you guys watched the entire video. Wow. Thank you so much. Leave a comment. Let me know how you did on any of these games. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, man, took me a long time today. That two for Wordle, though, that that made my day. I'm very happy about that. Um, cause you don't get those twos very often. Only 26, I think it was, over the course of what? Almost two years playing. Probably is two. It, we are probably at the two year mark of Wordle. So um, I am very just thankful to you guys. I enjoy playing these games. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys. Uh, fortunately, I did not do very well in connections but i will see you guys uh tomorrow for the connection solve or for whatever other videos i do so just thank you so much and i will see you guys later take care